Hello everyone, it's Lorelei again, coming to you from my creative space here at Lorelei Designs. And today I'm thinking about nurses and all those uh, brave medical folk that are running out there to the front lines to do this work and to care for all the, all the sick. And I just appreciate them and I want to encourage them and pray for them. And I thought, well, what could I do? What else could I, might I do? And I thought, well, how about I offer up some ideas for some small projects that we might use to uh, make for them to express our affection and our appreciation for their really good work. And so today I thought I would start with a, what I call a nurse mug rug, okay? Nurse mug rug. Yes, I think this is a really fun little project. It's a chance for you to use up things in from your stash. This is done with a block from my Nifty Nurses panel, and it only takes a few minutes. It's very quick and simple to do. So I'll show you my path through that today. So first thing is, everybody has a pattern for this project. This is a standard eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Okay, so you take that paper first off, and cut a piece of stabilizer, which this is like a medium to a, to a heavy weight. And this is about a $3 a yard, it's very inexpensive, but anything you have in your stash will do. Just something for a little uh, stiff foundation for your mug rug. So then you take your, cut that out, cut out that eight by eight and a half by 11 out of your stabilizer, and then also cut out an eight and a half by 11 of batting. Now this is the same batting I use for my quilting. It's a low loft uh, poly cotton, but it uh, doesn't matter what you have. Anything will work for this. This is not exactly a critical kind of application. So the first thing you do is on your paper, then you choose your block. Choose your block. So I've chosen this sassy, cute, spunky nurse here, and uh, she's from my nurse's panel, Nifty Nurse's panel. You can see I've been chopping it up to do these projects and there are 18 blocks in a panel so you can actually make 18 mug rugs. Once you get going they go really fast and you really could do that. And so then you take your block and place it on the left side of your paper. And you're going to make your pattern here that you can use, use next time. Take a pencil and just sit, draw a straight down, light line down. It's just kind of an orientation a feeling and then tip your ruler over about an inch and maybe a little bit as you go and very quickly just and, and stay at the same pivot point down here at the bottom and just keep moving that ruler and that will create what I call a fabric fan okay that's a that that pretty fun fan so I've just done that I have one two three four five six pieces of fabric sometimes it comes out seven six and you can do whatever you like this is not cast in stone so then you have six fabrics to choose. Let's see, I'm going to use this one. And this is my uh, collection of red strips that I, that I file my, my strips by color. Maybe this one. And you can kind of uh, mess around with uh, these, you know, put them in place and mess with them and think about them. But I warn you, three, four, five, I need one more. I warn you that if you do that, you could spend all day doing that. So you need to just kind of pick them out and get on with it or you'll uh, really, it'll become slow. So I've chosen those six and then I'm just gonna, then I'm going to take my paper, my paper pattern and slide that underneath, slide it underneath my stabilizer. And then I'm going to quickly copy those lines again and remember, this is just, and you're gonna keep that same spot down here at the bottom. See how I'm doing that? And you can change, this is not something you have to do it exactly this way even. You might wanna add in something else or make them, sometimes I like to add in just a skinny one for a little fun, like maybe a sideways stripe or something that would give it a different look. Here my paper. And then you take your, your block, place it on the left side of your stabilizer. Now it's not going to go all the way. It's going to be about a quarter inch short up and down, but don't worry about that. That's going to be underneath your binding. So then I'm just going to start stitching. So this one, oh good, that's long enough. No, it's not long enough. I'm going to have to pick another one. 
and it's this one. Lay that right on that straight line and you're gonna be about a quarter of an inch into, and I'm gonna cut that one off this time. Sometimes it's easier than having a big long one. Just lay that on there to the sewing machine. Straight down, just a small seam. at this point I just this is called the uh, and press like so that's the first one and then the second one this is where your fan begins you lay that piece and on the top you want to lay plenty extra so you don't run short lay it right on the upper right corner of that first piece and the lower left so you're going across it at an angle and a tiny little, tiny little seam again. And there's another tip that I would give you. If, if you are sewing something light on something dark, you may need to, to trim off that excess because it will color, it'll show through and kind of hurt your colors. In that case, it was white over red, so I did that. I'm going to press it again. So you see, that gets you to this point. You've got your first one on there, and you're going to just keep doing that. And when you get them all on there, it'll look like this. Okay, you've got all six of those on there, or however many you decided to do. And at this point, you're going to just flip it over and edge stitch that means right on the edge like an eighth of an inch in all the way around so that you lock down all of these and then you trim these off just start trimming and get all that off of there and you'll have a nice uh, nice tidy piece then and then you take your batting and you lay that on your batting and then you do your quilt stitching and you simply, what I like to do is to quilt around the block and the inside of the block and a couple of times so it, so it pops, so it shows. And then I go stitch in the ditch between each of the, the fan strips, each one. And then you're, done, you're, you're just about finished already. You take your backing. Now I have cut, I have cut my backing what I call a fat inch, bigger, okay, all around. A fat inch, maybe an inch and an eighth. And then this is going to be your binding. So you start, I always start down at the right hand corner, down at the bottom, fold it in half, fold, fold your excess in half, and bring it up over the edge. And see it will cover up that space just nice, like that. And you, so to start sewing here, sew all along there, and when you get to the corner, you want to fold it on a 45, and then fold it in half again and up over the edge, and then you'll have this really nice miter right there. Needle down, turn, and keep sewing. And when you come to the next, you do the same thing. You're just going to fold it on a 45 angle first, and then you're going to fold it in half, and then roll it up over the top and you will have it needle down again turn and finish sewing and do that on on each of them give it a little press from the back and you will have your cute little mug rug ready to go and i like to spray a little bit of start something about that last press really uh, kind of brings it all together and makes it really sweet and so here's another idea for you this is another one i've done and I actually slipped in a white strip here so that I could write on there, thank you, love, Laura, life, out there to all you uh, nurses. So that's another idea you can do. Another thing is that this, this size, of course, fits in a standard large envelope like so. And just slip it in there. You can mail that off. What a great uh, encouragement to folks out there that uh, you may love and appreciate the hard work that they're doing now. So thanks for coming. I hope that this uh, project will uh, appear.
appeal to you and that you'll have enjoyed my demonstration and come back again. I'll, I'll show you another one maybe. See you then. Bye-bye.